Hello there, an empties video is always a good indication of products someone enjoyed so much they've used up every last drop. I've repurchased all of these several times over so they're well and truly tried and tested. Also thrilled to be working with one of my favourite brands that I'll get to later in the video. You'll notice this is very skincare centric. I find I rarely finish makeup, partly because I'm a minimalist that only applies products very lightly, but also because I have a not so minimal collection and love experimenting with different items. But skincare is what I'm most passionate about and never miss a day of my routine. Let's go! Can you tell it's been summer in Australia? I'm mad about face mists. They bring you back to life on a hot day, at your desk, before or after makeup, before moisturiser to help it absorb. Any excuse will do. Jolique Rose Water Balancing Mist is my all-time Aussie favourite. Such a realistic rose scent. I'll be taking you behind the scenes where these beauties are made in a video very soon. And in the meantime, I'll return these three to my local Jolique store to be recycled. Last year, I found an American equivalent with an equally lovely scent. Heritage Store Rose Water with Rose Petals was heavenly at a fraction of the price. Mario Badescu is another nice option. Really juicy, and I like their take on the rose scent. I'll actually hang on to this plastic bottle to refill it with other mists for travel. I've been a Glossier Soothing Face Mist fan for so long that this is the original and this is the new version. They reformulated and repackaged it last year and for some reason the new one kind of gets up my nose a bit, so I prefer the original. The new pump also creates such a fine mist that I prefer the first that really spread product evenly. Then Quarterly Beauty Elixir is a bit more of a treat. I picked this up in the famous French pharmacy City Pharma in Paris, which appeared in a recent Beauty Tour episode. I can see why this is a cult favourite. The peppermint scent is heavy and almost intoxicating. In the cleanser department, I always take my makeup off with Chanel's Biphase Gentle Eye Makeup Remover. The best I've ever tried and the only one I've purchased for about a decade because it quickly removes eye makeup without a trace. Avenz Cleanance is a French pharmacy favourite for a foaming deep clean that doesn't strip your skin. I have normal to dry skin, but fine products aimed at oily skin sometimes give me the best thoroughly clean feeling. This Sanctuary Spa Fresh Face Purifying Wash was sadly discontinued, a London love of mine that was foaming too, but even more gentle. You'll be missed. The Quarterly Instant Foaming Cleanser was my travel cleanser of choice last year. Really lightweight and invigorating to help get that first layer of big city grime off. Moving on to micellar waters and toners. Bioderma is simply the best to me. I bought so many in Paris because they're less than a quarter of the price compared to Australia. It says Crayoline on the bottle when it's sold in France, but it's called Sensibio elsewhere. I grabbed this travel size Uriage micellar water when I was mid-trip last year and loved this just as much as Bioderma actually, particularly softening on the skin. Caudalie's Vino Pure purifying toner was so good I've moved on to the full size. I don't use many toners, but this one really helped calm down any breakouts and restore a good glow to the skin. Then good old Mario Mario Badescu Drying Lotion, one of the most effective spot stoppers when you dot this on. It won't work on every type of pimple, they need to be quite close to the surface in order to dry them out. This mask trio have been regulars in my routine for a long time. The Dior Hydrolife Glow Better Fresh Jelly Mask is my favourite exfoliating mask. Leaves skin baby soft and glowing in 5 minutes flat. Still smells like delicious apricot when I open it up. Glossier Mega Greens Galaxy Pack is my most reliable purifying mask. Once a week this helps hit reset on my skin without stripping or drying it out. Just makes it feel deeply clean and revitalised. I often follow that with Glossier Moon Mask, my favourite hydrating skin saver. It's cooling, light and leaves your face feeling super supple and soft. Here's my regular rotation of moisturisers. I discovered Caudalie Venosource Moisturising Sorbet at Caudalie's Spa in Bordeaux last year and haven't stopped using it since. It's super lightweight. I always want to get every last drop out of tube products, so quick tip, cutting into them often reveals a lot left in there. The Chanel Hydra Beauty Micro Cream is a more high-end option with a similarly thirst-quenching feel. The little camellia oil droplets burst as you apply it, perfectly light for summer. Go-To Face Hero has truly been my hero for the last few months. It's changed the overall look and feel of my skin because it's smoothing, soothing, balancing, and evens out your skin tone. I'm a complete face oil convert thanks to this little Aussie gem. But before moisturizer, when I need an added boost of hydration, Glossier Super Bounce Serum does the trick. Super light and soft, not at all sticky like some of its hyaluronic acid counterparts. Now, if we're talking body, you'll know there's only been one brand for me lately, and I'm thrilled that this section of the video is in paid partnership with them. Necessaire has completely revolutionized my approach to body care. It's a category I never felt passionate about before, but their clean, ethically sourced ingredients, immediately effective products, and serious commitment to sustainability changed that. I just love their work. Their body wash scents are heaven. Eucalyptus is my Aussie favorite, but sandalwood was light and warm as well. I use these as bubble bath too, so I can literally bathe in the scent. Then their body lotion, 
is simply the best I've ever used. My skin has never felt so soft, so I want to get every last drop out of this. Even if you can't squeeze it out, there's always a bit more in there. Worth it when the product is this good. They only launched late last year and will be expanding their shipping in 2019. So if you'd like to try some of Necessaire's refreshing or fragrance-free body products, you can get 10% off with the code MATILDA10. Nothing in it for me, just a handy discount for you. I'll leave a link below as well as my earlier Necessaire video if you'd like to learn more. So exciting that a brand I love wanted to work with me. Several products make it onto my face every single day, so I burn through them more frequently. Glossier Priming Moisturizer is the face moisturizer I've used every morning for maybe four years. It's light and fluid-like with a super dewy, smooth finish. But sunscreen goes on straight over the top. Absolutely non-negotiable every single day, no matter the weather. You've heard me mention my favorite, Mecca Cosmetica, to save face SPF 50 a million times. I'm always cutting into them to get the last bit out because it feels like a creamy moisturizer. I'm often asked about perfume, and the only one I've worn every day for as long as I can remember is Jo Malone Red Roses, a light floral garden rose scent. The only makeup to make it in is Glossier Boy Brow, which was so well loved the name completely vanished. It's my go-to brow tamer because it adds a little bit of tint and plenty of hold without ever feeling crunchy. That's the lot. Let me know what sort of products you've been using up lately. Do you finish skincare more than makeup as well or the other way around? My overwhelming observation is just how much plastic there is here. Some of these bottles will be recyclable if you remove the lid or pump, but I recently found a company that I'll be sending mine off to. Not an ad, just a great initiative. A company called TerraCycle breaks down and repurposes beauty products that aren't traditionally considered recyclable. They're based in the US, also in Australia, so look them up to see if they have a presence in your area. Or if you know of any other product recycling initiatives, please leave them in the comments below. Thanks for watching. See you next time.